Hi. Hi. Hello, Noah. Hello, Quintessa, and welcome to Paraguay. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Nice to be here. Thank you. So it's almost time for the world to see Black Adam in those costumes. Can you tell me what you felt the first time you put on those costumes? That was surreal. I mean, I grew up pretending to have superpowers and, um, you know, flying around and doing all that. And then one day you're actually looking at yourself in the mirror and you got this whole suit on. And it just blows your mind. <laughs> when I um when Kurt and Bart like gave me my super suit for the first time, I was like, all right, y'all gotta explain this. Like you gotta explain this to me real quick. I'm like, why? Mm -hmm. What? And just like seeing the the story that they had created for Cyclone and um trusting in that and then seeing those references so deeply in the in the comic books, like it made me feel so comfortable to play this character because we were putting a new spin on it, but also like staying as true as we possibly could while making it modern, making it a little bit more punk and, you know, putting my like flavor into it, which was a, like a dream come true. I know. So, and can you both tell me about the preparation to be this character? Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, for me, it was a lot about looking at where Al has come from. You know, he's got an uncle that's a superhero, Uncle Al. You know, and he, he come, there's a little bit of villainy in his family history as well. So that, that uh, you know, uh, what's the word? Not involves, not interact. Informs, <laughs> informs the way he goes about his life, right? What he's trying to prove to himself, to his family, and maybe to the world. It comes from a little bit of nepotism and that, and definitely privilege um, by that trade. Um, and so I think he, outside of that, he really wants to prove himself. And so just breaking that down and then you show up on set and you just play <laughs> with incredible cast thank you and you Quintessa okay yeah mine was all just like it was movement based so I was like looking at a lot of different things um you know to the aid of like you know Jama Jama wanted to create the character and just make her so special and um make a new spin on how like a superhero moves um you know like how does a superhero like cyclone harness the wind and he wanted her to be more dance like and so i was just looking at many many dance references and you wow. know trying to find something that uh spoke to me but also felt unique and uh differential from what i had seen uh, represented in the genre before so thank you so the last question uh can you tell us both of you um how each of you got involved in this project and what did you feel when you received the, the, the script yeah I, I had the opportunity to sit down with Jama for lunch and we spoke for about an hour and a half and then I waited for a few months and they told me that I, I was selected I read the script and it blew my mind and I could have been happier for me it was reading the scripts or and then submitting something and I was like yeah there's no fucking way and then next thing I know I'm meeting Noah we came read together kind of yeah. she read. and then I was like yeah I have to do it <laughs> it was like no question and yeah. then months and then finding out that I got it and I was like finally like now what do we do you know so like good. a dream come true so thank you Thanks. very much thank you bye bye